Glenn, it seems as though, and it's been brought to our attention that what originally your purpose has been uh, has been manipulated, um, and we are here to see if that has been through your own doing. I see a disconnection between what you gentlemen had initially planned to occur and what my actions have been in regards to the help of this world. Well, you're absolutely right. So, it is much different than what we've done, do, and intend to do. Yes. And I want to know who you think you are to come up with a, 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 a different agenda. Because we have the authority to let this idea, this concept go through and touch those of lesser consciousness, we want to make sure that it is in line with who we are. So Glenn, I don't understand um, what you think you're doing here with the story. Lately, from what I've seen in regards to your agenda, in regards to towards the policy and towards our world manipulation that it deserves much a needed criticism towards it. So maybe my actions can kind of shed some light or set a paradigm of what you should do. And I think you're mistaken. I think you think that you have all the power here. You have no power. We chose you. It's, it's not about power. It's a, I mean, there's this interesting story of this gentleman who people refer to as uh, Jesus. I and mean, there's other people like Gandhi as well, I mean, countless examples, individuals who fasted, who self advocated themselves, who completely destroyed themselves. You speak of them, you speak as, you of them as if we don't, we don't re realize who they are. What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? You do realize what's at stake. Yes, I do, sir. But do you understand that the sacrifice that these characters have made, the people that I've seen, but this is not the first world that we have created. There are many, many other worlds out there that are running just fine. Our system has been proven effective time and time again. We chose you because we understood that you were in line with who we are. And so the worst thing that can happen moving forward is that you were manipulated by this world. I mean, uh, are, 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 are you under the impression um, that you can help these time dwellers be original. There's a there's a there's a grid, and there's a way that we do things. And your work is disrupting the grid. So it almost seems like you're trying to be original. Are you trying to be original, gentlemen? I'm trying to inspire you to to see that we need to change. Based on what? We're changed to what? Where are you coming up with, with this idea we need to change? How's a change. time dweller how's a time dweller going to interpret to you that we need to change? Let me explain something to you. The definition of insanity is going through a process time and time again expecting a different result. What you are trying to, I guess, propagate, as you would say, into our brains. We've done this before. We've been playing this game a long time. Okay? We've come to the conclusion that this is the best possible way to deal with it. And these ideas that you're coming up with, they're old, they're stagnant, and they're ineffective. We sent you to find one. One that could come and present themselves as an avatar for what we bring. This is to help, this is to help this world mature, but it's via our 
system. So I was having a conversation with one of these time dwellers, and it was about Socrates. I'm not sure if you're, you know, yeah, I'm pretty sure you are aware of who Socrates was, and many countless examples have been out there. But he pondered this interesting question, which inspired me to, to understand the struggle and to emphasize with these time dwellers, especially in the world that I've been observing. He inspired this question, this gentleman I was talking to. Me. He said, do the gods like virtue because it is right? Or is virtue right because, because it is the gods that have said so? Socrates? That doesn't come from Socrates. That comes from the Egyptian mystery system, a system we're all very familiar with. I mean, Glenn, if I didn't know any better, it, it almost seems like you're, you're, you've become too attached to these time dwellers. Well, Glenn, we have a plan in the works that's been discussed that we're all familiar with, uh, we're all in agreement with. Um, I just want to know if you're on board with what we're doing, because based on what you've presented here to us today, it seems as if September 17th, 2001, is not something you're on board with. It almost seems as if you're trying to create hiccups for the plan. And before you answer, please understand that any contrast, any opposition to this plan will result in termination from this council. I only have a few minutes, so you must listen carefully and do everything I say. Glenn, it's your turn. Glenn. Mercury. I believe you when you say who you are. And you have to help me. You're gonna need this. I can't help you. Take it. You have to help me. Please take it. Why are you doing this to me? Please take this. Take it. 